Here's the second big step, is that when you want something from another, this is for all of you, when you want something for another, you ask for it. And you ask for it in real simple ways. Now, this, by the way, is particularly true for you women in the room. Because I want to tell you a little secret. Guys, for the most part, are a bit dumb. Now, not really dumb, but a little dumb. So my recommendation is that, you know, don't blame him for not giving you what he wants, what you want, rather, because he just isn't sure yet. Or at least assume that for now. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, this is, of course, true for you guys, too. Sometimes women just don't know what you want. So tell them in explicit detail what you want. Because you're kind of training each other. So back to you women. Because guys really need to be trained. I mean, you know, we're just not quite as intuitive. We're not quite as brilliant as women. I mean, that's my point of view. I know some of you guys are offended by that. But hey, take it or leave it. So if you want me to do something different as a guy, just ask me for something small, doable. Just ask. And ask best if you could with a smile on your face. And then once somebody gives you whatever he or she gives you, thank them. Yeah, we just say, what if they don't give me what I wanted? It's OK, thank them anyway, because they gave you something. So for example, let's just say, uh, I'll use a, uh, OK, you're getting a massage. The guy's massaging your shoulders. And you, and, and you, you know, it's like, it's OK, but it's not really very comfortable because you want it softer. He's just like digging in too hard. So you say, um, what I'd really like is for you to go softer. And he goes harder. Now, you think, well, wait a minute. I'm not going to thank him for that. Well, maybe not. But that's what I'm recommending, is what you say is, oh, thanks a lot for changing the pressure. <laughs> I really like it when you massage me. I'd like it if you went softer. And then, you know, you probably go softer. And then you say, oh, thanks. Really appreciate it. So here's the simple piece of this, is that you ask for what you want, and then you be very grateful for what you get. Third major step here. Women, ask for everything you want. Everything. Just keep looking and asking that special man in your life for what you want. What would make you ecstatic? What would put a huge smile on your face? And ask for the moon in every area of life, in how he holds your chair, in how he opens the door, in how he serves your food, in how he s provides for you financially, in how he touches you sexually, in how he caresses you and hugs you, in how he tucks you into bed at night, Ask for whatever would put a huge smile on your face. Now, this is not an easy job, by the way, because most of us are not trained to ask for what we want. Now, here's the real corker. Men, give it to her. Everything. Now, I know for some of you, it's like, wait a minute. What if she wants to move to Alaska and I want to stay here? Well. Just test it out. It's just a theory. I'm just trying to get you more turned on, guys, by having a happier and happier woman. So what I'm recommending, women, is to ask for whatever you want. And what I'm recommending, guys, is for you to give it to her, whatever it is. You say, well, now, wait a minute. This is a bit unfair. Well, I don't know. I think it's actually a lot like affirmative action. You know, affirmative action gives a little benefit to minorities because of the years of discrimination. So this is a little bit like affirmative action for women. Because when I look into the last two millennia, women have been sorely mistreated. They've been treated like slaves. They've been owned like slaves. They haven't been asked for what they want, and they haven't been given what they want. It's been a man's world run by men. Now, some of you don't agree with this, of course. Test it out, though. 
take a look. What I'm recommending is that we now have it be a woman's world run by women, and particularly in your intimate relationship, that you let her run it, and women, that you run it.